Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about these two settings, the reporting period and the entitlement setup in our employee leave manager Excel template. In the previous video, we learned how to set up the basic settings such as leave types and weekends and holidays. And then in this video, we will finish up the settings by doing the reporting period and the entitlement setup. First, the reporting period is the period that is used for calculating the balances for each employee, the leave balance for each employee, as well as the employee report will automatically be generated for this period that we enter. So by default, you will see January 2019, January 1st, 2019 and 31st December 2019. This is the period, but you can change it to if I want to put October 1st, 2019, I type in this way and now that becomes my reporting period. So it's very easy to change. There are only a couple of simple validations in place. So the maximum period is 12 months. And if you type in something like 2020, now you will see an error message saying more than 12 months in this reporting period, You, the maximum allowed is 12 months at a time. You can definitely come back and extend it. For example, if I want to do for 2020, I will come in here and you'll see a message saying this reporting period hasn't started yet. But if I'm planning for, let's say 2020, this is still okay because this is still within 12 months. However, the reporting period hasn't started yet. So let me just change it to July 1st, 2019. And then I will do December 31st, 2019. So this is an acceptable reporting period because it's within 12 months and it's already started. So now the template can calculate the balances correctly. So check for that validation. If you see an error message, please change the dates accordingly. And one last thing is you don't want to put um, the end date before the start date. For example, if I do June 1st as the ending date and then July 1st is a starting, this, this seems like an error. So please fix that if you see any such type of errors. So let's say, for example, I put it back, you know, valid dates, things are good. Now the next part and the final part of the settings is the entitlement setup. Entitlement is nothing but how many days of leave that the employee is allowed to take according to the policies. Uh, it can be called as like a quota, essentially how many days of leave is given to the employee for um, the specific reporting period. So let me put it back to one year so that it's easy to explain. So for the entire 2019, let's say each employee is allowed to take totally 15 days of leave. So that might be your business policy or you can have maybe 20 days. So you put in 20. So this means that every employee we are going to enter will automatically have the total entitlement as 20 days. So this is one option. If in your company you do not have like total entitlement, you instead have something like per leave type, then you can choose per leave type and I'll explain what this means. So now you actually have an option to say for each specific leave type, you can provide the entitlement uh, number of days. So in this case, for example, vacation, eight days of leave can be taken under vacation leave type, five sick days, two medical days, and maybe five personal days. So I'll just type in five. Training, which is a leave type that we added with no balance tracking in the previous video, that one, we don't have to enter anything or you can enter zero because we're actually not tracking balance. So that will not count towards the balances. So we don't have to worry about that. Even when we did total training will not be considered as against the balance because we have set the balance tracking to zero. So that's an important thing to remember. 
Now that's pretty much it. So now we are ready to have either the total entitlement setup setting or per leave type, whichever one your organization is implementing or choosing as a policy, you can set it up that way. So now that completes our one time quick settings setup. Now we are ready to move on in the next video about entering our list of employees in the employee sheet. Thank you.